This is the grandest feast of the year for the Empress Dowager. The palace maids and eunuchs prepare three identical tables named Heaven, Earth, and Humanity. The Heaven table is set in the Far East, the Earth table in the Far West, and the Humanity table is placed right in the center. The Empress Dowager sits at the central table, symbolizing that apart from Heaven and Earth, she holds the highest status. Then, the four guardians enter to pay their respects. These four are eunuchs from previous dynasties, including a scholar for Emperor Daoguang and a personal eunuch for Emperor Xianfeng. As they enter, they kneel to greet her, standing in a line, representing the legacy of the Empress Dowager's esteemed lineage. The eunuchs serving the dishes line up from the palace gate, arranged by rank, all the way to the longevity kitchen. There are exactly 500 of them, with a lantern every five steps, creating a bright pathway leading to the kitchen. This display is called the Four Guardians and 500 Arhats, serving the Empress Dowager at her grand banquet at the Jade Pool. These 500 eunuchs were carefully chosen from thousands and started training right after the Laba Festival. They must not make any mistakes and practice daily on serving dishes and carrying trays. Each eunuch uses two bolts of white cloth every day in their training. In the palace, it's all about grandeur. No one worries about the costs involved. Once the Empress Dowager is seated, the four guardians pay their respects, while the 500 Arhats outside shout in unison, Long live the Empress Dowager! Then the firecrackers outside begin to explode, and they won't stop for the entire banquet. In addition to the firecrackers, the rhythmic crack of whips in the hall adds to the atmosphere. It's not just random. The sound of the whips has to maintain a steady rhythm. The dishes on the table are mainly divided into three categories. The first is auspicious dishes, with names like longevity surpassing Nanshan, wishing you good fortune, and unified empire. The second category is tribute dishes, featuring delicacies like bear paws, flying dragon, plum deer, giant lobsters, and drunken crabs all sent from various regions. The third category consists of ordinary dishes. The last dish is the most ceremonious. Li Lianying and the other eunuchs kneel and raise this dish high above their heads. The emperor himself presents it to the empress dowager. It's a plate of boiled frozen dumplings, a delicacy that dates back to before the Qing dynasty, when it was only enjoyed during the new year. This signifies that while enjoying a meal, one should not forget their ancestors. The palace breakfast keeps the northeastern traditions alive. When drinking tea, they mix it with milk. The Empress Dowager enjoys both human and cow's milk, with the milk tea provided by the small kitchen in the Shusuyu Palace. The longevity kitchen also prepares various types of porridge, like rice porridge, which includes over 20 varieties, such as Yutayan red rice and Huainan quok seed rice. In addition, there are dozens of breakfast items, including eight treasures porridge and flaky butter pancakes. Other offerings include marinated goose liver and braised chicken breast, making for a rich and diverse breakfast spread. What the Empress Dowager likes to eat is a mystery, not just to outsiders, but even to the cooks. Why? Because they're not allowed to know, and anyone who dares to guess risks serious consequences. In the palace, discussing her favorite dishes is strictly forbidden. While minor events are recorded, what the Emperor and Empress Dowager enjoy eating is never noted. As a result, the Empress Dowager never says what she wants for a meal. Instead, over 120 dishes are prepared for her to choose from, allowing her to pick whatever she feels like that day. Her tastes can change, making it hard for anyone to predict what she might want. She intentionally keeps her preferences a secret. There's also a rule that one should not take more than three bites of any dish to help prevent poisoning. All the dining utensils are silver, as it is believed that silver will tarnish if food is poisoned. The management in the longevity kitchen is very strict, keeping detailed records of who washed, prepared, and cooked each dish. This ensures that if anything goes wrong, no one can escape responsibility.